We got Warren Haynes with us on the line here. Of course, guitarist, singer, government mule, great run in the Allman Brothers. How you doing, Warren? How's everything? Everything's great, man. Yeah, I know you're getting ready for a tour. You're going out with Government Mule again. You got Blackstone Cherry opening, a, a great band. You friends with those guys? Yeah, we've known each other quite a while. They're a great band. Been following them for years. I know you're doing some dates in Australia before that you do the U.S. tour, which uh, kicks off in April. You're going to be here in Albany at the Palace on April 26th. A lot of fans here in the Capital Region and upstate New York of Government Mule. Looking forward to having you back here. Yeah, we haven't been back since our last Halloween show that we did uh, over a year ago. Uh, we're, we're psyched to be back. What kind of show could we expect this time around? You got anything special lined up or just a straight-ahead rock show? Well, you know, they're all different. Um, we, we're still playing a lot of songs from the new record, Revolution Come, Revolution Go. Uh, but we keep a log of every show we've ever done. And when we go back to a, a city or town, we look to see what we played the time before and the time before that and make sure it's completely different. Oh, that's awesome. It'll probably be just a, a lot of stuff through all the different periods of Government Mule. Cool. Revolution Come, Revolution Go. That's the 11th studio album from Government Mule. came out last year. And gearing up for this summer, I want to talk a little bit about the Peach Music Festival. You do this each year out at Montage Mountain, Scranton, PA, a beautiful venue. And you've been doing it since 2012. This year, it's Government Mule. Uh, doing uh, Dark Side of the Mule. You got Phil Lesh and the Terrapin Family Band. Joe Russo's Almost Dead. You got Dickie Betts, Mo, Chris Robinson Brotherhood. A lot of great bands. I'm excited to see Dickie Betts part of the lineup. Has he been part of Peach Fest before, or is this the first time? No, it, this is the first time, and he actually is, is, hasn't played in quite a while. This is going to be his first tour in, in quite some time, so a, a lot of people are very excited about that. Can we see you up there jamming with Dickie at the show? Is that possible? Uh, Everything is possible. We played <laughs> together hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. You know, Dickie's the, the one that brought me into the Allman Brothers uh, yep. a long, long time ago. I played in his band in the 80s, in the late 80s, before the Allman Brothers reformed in 89. Yep. Um, but we haven't played together in, in quite some time. Uh, I look forward to seeing him, hearing him, and, and who knows, maybe playing. Yeah, uh, Dickie Betts, of course. Uh, you know, did you guys ever collaborate on anything outside the Allman Brothers that maybe we haven't heard yet, that hasn't seen the light of day? Well, not that it hasn't seen the light of day. Okay. Uh, you know, I did his his one record uh, in 1988. He released a record called the, the Dickie Betts Band, Pattern Disruptive, which was myself and Matt Apps, the drummer in Government Mule, and Johnny Neal, the p piano player that was in the Allman Brothers uh, 89 and 1990. Um, we never did anything that, that didn't come out, so to speak. Gotcha. Well, it's going to be great to see him at the Peach Festival. Again, that's happening uh, July 19th through the 22nd, Montage Mountain in Scranton. I want to know your inspiration behind the great Allman Brothers tune, Soul Shine. Well, I wrote that song in 1987. Mm -hmm. uh, I was actually driving in my car and the idea came to me, and I didn't have a guitar, I didn't have a pen and paper, I didn't have anything. It was before cell phones and yeah. all that stuff. So I just kept driving and, and drove home and kept singing it over and over in my head so I wouldn't forget it. And when I got inside, I picked up a guitar and a pen and paper and, and wrote everything down. Um, in the beginning, I didn't really think of it as an Allman Brothers song, you know, it, it was this real simple tune, and I, I actually messed around with ways of making it a little more complex, but it, but it always kind of wanted to stay true to the, the simplicity of it. Sure. And we, when we were recording Where It All Begins, which was the third studio album that I did with the Allman Brothers, um, we had recorded all the songs that we had rehearsed, we still had uh, studio time left over. And somebody said, well, what are we going to do now? And uh, Greg turned to me and said, let's do your song, Soul Shine. And that was the first time that he had ever mentioned doing it. You know, uh, I, I knew that he knew the song and, and liked the song, but he's like, yeah, we should, we should take a stab at that, you know. So oh, that's awesome. It was kind of a, kind of a, a last-minute thing. So was it something that initially you were going to maybe do as a solo track? Yeah, I thought about doing it on Tales of Ordinary Madness, the record that I recorded in 1992, mm -hmm. and I and I decided 
to, to wait on it. I decided that it didn't really fit on that record, so to speak. But it was one of the songs that Chuck Lavelle, who produced that record, he and I had made a big list of songs that might make the record. But somehow Soul Shine didn't make that record. So when, when Greg found out that it wasn't on my record, he said, well, let's put it on the Allen Brothers record. Now that's great. And a great record it was, the entire album. I'm so glad you did that. Uh, we're speaking with Warren Haynes, Government Mule, coming back to the Capital Region, Palace Theater on April 26th. Speaking of Greg Allman, of course, we lost Greg last year. We know he was a dear friend of yours. Um, has there ever been talk of doing like a tribute concert for Greg? Uh well, we was this show when he was still alive. There was a great tribute show that so many of us were part of that turned into a live album and, and DVD. And then there was a, a, a small thing during the Grammys in New York, a small venue called City Winery. Uh, there's been talk of doing some some big thing, but we'll, we'll see what happens. And it's, you know, maybe at some point we'll do some Allman Brothers tribute show, but uh, nothing in the near future. All right. And, uh, of course, the Allman Brothers were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1995. I always like to ask artists their thoughts on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I know you weren't included in the induction for the Hall. I guess they went with the original lineup there. Did that hurt your feelings? Is it something that means a lot to you? Or what's your thoughts on the Rock Hall in general? Well, uh, you know, I'm obviously proud of the band for, for being in it. There was some talk of uh, maybe trying to readjust the uh, the inclusion of who was part of it because part of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame thing is based on 25 years. Right, you have to have done you have to have done your first record 25 years ago to qualify. And uh, so I've heard people make it noise about adding myself and Alan Woody and people like that to the to the picture. I, I'm not sure that that's something that can or, or will happen but you know i was a fan before i was in the band so if any band deserves to be in the hall of fame it's the allman brothers and sure i'd love to be included but i i you know it's not something that i think about a lot would you like to see government mule in the rock hall one day <laughs> you know we're getting closer it's hard to believe <laughs> we're, we're 23 years now i know right <laughs> and i never thought we'd be uh five years you know government mule started as a side project we never intended to make a second record. We were just having fun, but it kind of caught fire and turned into its own thing. And here it is. We were past 20 years. You know, it's a, it's, it's really hard to believe. For me. You going to do something big for the 25th coming up? I hope so. Yeah, I would say so. Maybe, maybe and, and release some cool stuff from the studio that's never come out before. And, you know, at some point we're going to have to start working on another studio record once we finish this tour. Um, but it's still a little ways away, so I got time to think about it. You absolutely do. Warren Haynes joining us today. Appreciate you checking in with us and talking with us. We're looking forward to Government Mule's return with Blackstone Cherry. That's going to be at the Palace April 26th. You can get tickets through the Palace box office and through Ticketmaster and the Peach Music Festival 2018. Great lineup. And like I said, good to see Dickie Betts and his band going to be part of that lineup. And hopefully uh, you'll be sharing the stage at that event in Scranton. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Awesome, Warren. Well, we'll see you soon in Albany. Thanks for taking time out of your schedule with us. My pleasure. Thank you.